Hey there, Matt Filio here in my studio in Chippewa Falls on a beautiful Saturday afternoon. Uh, it's almost 75 degrees, the birds are chirping, the wind is blowing. I got this uh, crab apple tree here in full bloom with beautiful purplish magenta colors, just gorgeous. I'm a blessed man, God has been good to me and my family. Anyway, I want to invite you to my studio. I want to show you a tip that you can use um, for setting up your easel to hold your canvases in place and allow you access to be able to work on them. Something that I'm just working on now and I thought I would have, you'd think I would have thought of this, you know, for having painted over 20 some years, um, but it's just something I'm working on now. So I'm going to show it to you really quick. I'll set up my camera right here. And so you see my easel and what I'm doing is well, let me show you the problem that I've encountered before anything else. So I would work on a canvas, and what would happen is, you know, if I set it in here in the back where it has the feet, um, I would have a shadow being cast over the top of it from this wood sticking out. And this, this is a canvas that I bought from uh, Michaels over 10 years ago for about $100. Um, at some point, I'm probably going to build a, a better easel. Um, but this is the easel I have for now. And um, I, I've used the heck out of it. I've, I've put it through the ringer. And it's, it's uh, done well for me. But the problem I've encountered is these shadows being cast from the top of the support here. Um, and then if I put it in here under the lip, then I encounter trying to paint you know, in here, and it's really difficult because um, you're hung up by this this lip of wood, and it's hard to get good brush strokes, and you end up getting very linear strokes in the bottom. So what I've been doing is I've set the, the canvas out against the lip and try to use the pressure of tightening this down really tight here, and just by pushing down really hard on this and tightening this really tight, I would get it to hold in place, but that's only most of the time. Uh, the problem is, is since this is wood and um, it just makes contact with the canvas in certain points, while I'm painting, I would have the pleasure of this thing, you know, popping out on me, <laughs> and that's no fun when you're painting. Have you ever encountered that before? Uh, what, what do you do for your canvases and how, how do you hold them in place? Go ahead and leave a comment at the bottom here of this video. Let me know. I, I would be interested in hearing what your way of doing it is. But as artists, we just try to share solutions and help each other out. So anyway, the solution that I came up with right now was to buy some felt from the hardware store. Now you could buy uh, felt pads like you put on the bottom of table legs and chairs, the little round uh, felt pads. But I just happen to have this sitting in my drawer, just a big square of it. And I can you know, cut it at any shape and size that I want with the scissors. And then that way I can make sure it follows the edge here. And it's just the, the width of this lip on the easel. Um, so that's what I did. I cut these squares out, okay, and I applied them to the top and bottom. I don't know if you can see that, but just little squares. And I guess I can pick this up and show you. I don't know if you can see that, just on the top edge of the support here. Right here's where I have one felt pad, and then this is the other one. Just trying to space it out pretty evenly, but not right to the edge of the canvas. Can you see the other one down here? Yeah, there's that one, and then there's the other one over there. So we're going to test and see how this works. Um, so I'm going to set this up like I normally would. See if this will hold in place. So 
So I'm going to squeeze down on it. Now what I might have to do, what I might have to do is, all right, let's see. This is the beta run of this solution. So I, I don't know how it's gonna work, we'll find out. Might, might be a lemon, might work. I might have to get rubber feet instead of felt because these are meant to glide after all on floors so it's possible that it won't have enough friction. And what I'm encountering is this being just slightly askew so it's not making contact on this side. But the principle I think holds and like I say I might have to use rubber feet instead but it does give me a little bit of an extra area beneath you know I have I have some gap between here where now I can paint off the edge of the canvas it seems to be pretty tight it's just this area here isn't making contact so I think my easel is not quite square anymore. Over the years it's kind of tilted a bit. So I'll probably have to shim that up uh, with a, a thinner piece of felt or something like that. And then also what I might do is take some of these uh, one inch wire nails and pound the nails just into the felt to hold it into place. If the felt doesn't end up holding it well then I will try uh, rubber uh, feet instead like you put on the bottom of chairs, something like that. They probably sell something like that at the hardware store, rubber grommets you can screw in. That might be an even better solution. But I just wanted to show you this. I was working on it and I thought, why don't I share this with my folks here on YouTube and uh, Facebook and my email subscribers and, and students. So anyway, if you, you like this video, if you found it helpful, interesting, give me a thumbs up. <laughs> Uh, let me know your thoughts, your ideas on how you keep your canvas secure um, in your easel and have the ability to work all edges and angles of it. Uh, let me know. So anyway, thanks so much. Subscribe to this channel. Keep in touch with me. God bless. And we'll talk to you soon.